What is going on y'all, it's your boy Young Chuan. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some dance hall afro pop type beats. Some beats you might hear party next door use or even like kind of like little Tekka, whiz kid type of vibe. I'm going to give y'all some tips on how to achieve that kind of afro pop dance hall drum bounce. So let's get straight to it. So first what I started with, I went in contact and picked this marimba from Mallet Flux. And uh, I put, I laid these chords down right here. I think it's actually from a MIDI. I'm not sure, but I don't remember, but yeah. So yeah, very repetitive. I didn't add any effects to it. I just thought that the raw sound was good enough. Um, so next I went into contact again and I picked this Cine Harps um, contact library uh, with the concert harp preset and I played uh, this pattern right here. So this is with, with the effects without the effects. So yeah, it sounds pretty bad. Uh, I added a parametric EQ to cut this low end that you hear. A Vahala vintage verb, um, just to kind of, you know, add some reverb and make it a bit wider. A fruity reverb, again, just to, you know, add to the reverb. And then finally, a CLA guitars from Waves uh, with these um, settings right here. And uh, next, I opened up contact again, and I went into Substance and picked this fretless jam bass guitar preset from Substance, and I uh, just followed the root notes of the chords, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, it sounds very realistic. I didn't add any effects to it. I just turned it a whole lot down um, just to make it quieter. And then next I went into contact again. This is the final element of the melody and I picked this vibraphone from Mallet Flux and uh, these bells right here. Yeah, they kind of act as like an accent and I added some EQ just to cut the low end off right here. A vintage verb, um, you know, just to kind of, yeah, add some reverb, but I turned the mix down to about 20% right here. And then another fruity reverb that also I turned down to about 60% right here. Um, so yeah, without the effects, they sound like this. But with the effects, yeah, it just sounds a lot better. Um, so that was it for the melody. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I did with the drums. For the drums, you wanna keep it pretty basic but very rhythmic, very repetitive. So I added this kick that hits every other beat. Um, but then I also just added like a cool pattern pretty much. I'm gonna just play it. So it, just to give you guys a, a bit of context with the metronome. And then after I just added a bunch of these percussive elements just to add to the rhythm. And then of course, uh, the snares, which, you know, really just is the focal point of the drum. So this is what it sounds like. And so for the hook, I added this uh, percussion also. It's like a shaker. And then uh, finally I added the 808s. Now I know a lot of Afro dancehall beats don't use 808s that much. They use usually like synth basses or like just the kicks. Um, but I just decided to add an 808 just to kind of, you know, just make it a little different. But in context with the melody, this is what it sounds like. This 
vibraphone is so hard. Right here. That's hard. And then I added some hi hats right here. I didn't add the hi hats for too long because it's kind of like. Kind of like. It kind of like attacks you, so I didn't want to keep it for too long just to add some more variation. And then, as you can see, I just took out some percussive elements out, added them back in. I, I took off this shaker right here for the first uh, part of the verse and then brought it back. Same thing where I took the harp out and the vibraphone and the bass and stuff. So, you know, just playing around. Keeping it interesting. And I brought back the bass and the uh, marimba. I have the same pre hook right here. Oh, yeah, for the snares, uh, I added this kind of like roll at the end right here. Play with the velocity right here. So yeah, pretty much very simple for the mixing. I didn't do anything crazy. As usual, I added a soft clipper and then just mix the sounds. As you can see, it's a lot of percussive sounds. So you want to like mix them, level them well, that they blend with each other very well and complement each other and none of the sounds get in each other's way. So yeah, this is pretty much the final beat. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the beat and enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.